Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look at this great big bottle. <laughs> this is the brewery, and these guys are out of Placentia, California. And this is their Autumn Maple. And this is a great big beer coming in at 10%. It says Belgian style brown ale brewed with yams, molasses, maple syrup, and spices. And this is a big, great big bottle, 750 milliliter here, dapping up to share, which I intend to do. Uh, so let's get on with this one. Rico, my friend, my brother, uh, I do appreciate you spending your hard earned money on these wonderful beers that you pick up and send to me, man. You're, you're a great friend. Uh, uh, if it weren't for all this knee surgery that I'm going through, I'd come up and see you, buddy. Uh, and I was planning on doing that this week until all this knee surgery come, in, come up. So. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to get together for too long and I can buy you a beer or two or twelve. So, uh, let's get on with the guys. Commercial description says this beer is made in the pumpkin beer tradition except instead of pumpkins we use yams and lots of them. A big Belgian style brown out at 10%. This one is bringing pumpkin beers or yam beers into new territory. Don't doubt that one bit. Uh, I don't know if there's a date on the bottle. We'll take a closer look when we come back. Being a brown ale uh, and being a 10 percenter, uh, just a vintage is basically all we need for this. Uh, so uh, we'll take a closer look when I come back and do the final chug. Uh, let me get the bottle opened up here while I'm reading you the uh, food pairing. This has got general and salad. I'm just not much into drinking big beers or any beers with a salad. Uh, glass right of pine, back or tumbler, mug, side, side, dell. I'm using my favorite snifter glass for this, guys. And this says here not extended, not uh, not recommended for extended cellar unless the ABV extends the average range. Well, at 10%, what do you think? I think it extends the average range. So, finger of head on that pour, and it does have a nice deep amber pumpkin or yam color. Uh, I can't get any light through the big bowl part, but there is a nice brown color coming through the bottom of the glass there. Just a slight hint of some light there. Not a lot. Pretty dark. Let's get a nose on it. I am getting the pumpkin spice or the yam spices. I'm getting allspice and uh, cinnamon and nutmeg. Nice sweetness to the back end. It smells very much like a pumpkin beer, guys. It really does. Maybe some slight hints of the maple syrup in there. A nice sweetness to it. Of course, if they, unless they use lactose, a lot of those sugars are going to be eaten up by the yeast. Well, it's time. Let's get it on. You can see the head is dissipated pretty good. It's just barely covering the top of the beer. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. No, wonderful. Oh yeah. On the taste, I'm getting definitely getting the Belgian yeast quality there, guys. Same thing on the taste, I'm getting the pumpkin pie spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, allspice. Nice mouthfeel on this. Very nice sweetness. Well, wow. that's delicious. That's pretty damn tasty. I don't know if it's quite to the uh, 10 category, but it's pretty impressive right now. 
And the brewery does some really tasty beer, guys. They really do. And like I said, I'm going to come back. We'll take a closer look, see if we can find a date or a vintage on the, on the bottle somewhere. Wow, that's delicious. Just throw some burgers on the grill, so I better get out there and take a look at them before I burn them all to hell. And sip on this for a little while and let the other half pour her glass, and we'll come back when this is short. Let's see where this one ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Been sitting on about 30 minutes or so. Uh, according to what Rico sent me here on this particular beer, he says Belgian style brown ale brewed with can, spices, and maple syrup. Date is 7 2 14. So, this beer is uh, over two years old in the bottle, and it has soured exceptionally well. Uh, it says the ABB is 10, and the IBUs are 25. Uh, picked up in 2014 for 10 to $12 for the bottle. And for a 750 milliliter, that's not a bad price, guys. It really is. Uh, very tasty beer. I would consider this as my first pumpkin style beer of the 2016 season. Uh, very tasty. Very nice. And especially uh, being a, a 10 percenter uh, and aging the bottle for two years. Very nice. I looked at the bottle, I couldn't find the date on it, so I don't know how he knows other than he bought it in, in, in 2014 because uh, I didn't see anything on, on the label or on the bottle anywhere uh, about having a date on it or anything. But Very nice. Very tasty. The other half loved it just like I do. It does have a little bit of strong booziness to it, but it's a 10 percenter. I mean, this is a big beer, a nice sweetness to the back end with the maple syrup they've used, a lot of pumpkin pie spices. Very tasty. Found chug. Wow. Very tasty. A great final beer of the evening for me, which is what it is. The burger's about done. Wow, delicious. Very delicious. Now, I don't know how boozy this would be fresh, or if they do it every year, but this one being two years in the bottle, very, very tasty, guys. Very, very tasty. Uh, for me, on this one, guys, uh, I'm going to give this probably the A minus. Uh, give it the 8 in the scale. Uh, numeric rating on this one, guys, would probably be a 91. Very, very tasty. I'm not a big pumpkin beer guy, uh, especially when it's still 90 degrees outside, but uh, a nice fall beer. I mean, this would be a great beer uh, to taste in October and November. Uh, but I went ahead and got this one out and uh, wanted to do it, so uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I would buy this beer. I would, especially if it's only 10 or $12 a bottle for a 750 milliliter. Uh, that's a good price. I doubt if I could buy this beer here for that price. Uh, this would probably be a $17, $18 model of beer here in Virginia. So uh, Rico gets some really nice beers uh, where he's at from all over the damn country. So uh, very envious of you, Rico, for, for being able to pick up all these wonderful beers that I cannot get here. So with that being said, uh, let's go over to Beer Advocate. They say it's 85 in a very good range. I think it's uh, about five notches or so better than that. And over to uh, Ray Beer. Ray Beer says it's 90 overall, 97 in the style. I'd agree with that. Uh, that's at the bottom of the A scale. Very tasty. I would agree with that 100%. And for our final look-see, uh, we'll go over to Untapped. And they say it is a 3.68 beer, which is in their B to B plus rating, somewhere in between there. So, uh, I think it's a tad better than that. Uh, it's selling very well. Now, if it was a fresh bottle, I might not quite give it to the grade score that I just did gave this one. But uh, for two years in the bottle, this one selling very well, and it was very tasty. So, Rico, once again, my brother, thanks again for sending it to me. And guys, if you've had this one from the brewery, this is their Autumn Maple. Uh, let me know what you think. It's pretty damn tasty, especially at this stage, two years in the bottle. I enjoyed this. Very nice. So if you have, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Let me go check on them burgers. See y'all tomorrow.